to another live video. I have unboxed the iPhone 13 Pro Max. So we'll go over what it has in it once I have more people here. Let's see if more people show up. Do we have one? We have one person right now. All right, let's see. Let's see. Where is my... Go to my channel and stuff. Let's do that. Okie dokie. Let me refresh. Refresh. Come on, there we go. Okay, we got one watching. Hello, friends. Okay. Hey, Miles, how are you doing today? I am uh, here, and I'm going to show off some cases and stuff. So, um, we have the 13 Pro Max, as you can see here. Looks really nice in this new Sierra Blue. I don't know if that's going to translate well to camera, but we'll see if it does. I think it looks pretty nice. Now, unfortunately, I have a leather, uh, leather thing on the back of my 12 Pro, so I can't really show you the difference, but you can see it's a much darker blue. Yeah, that's a much darker blue. You can see right there. There's 5G. Who is your carrier, Miles? Who do you, uh, who do you carrier with right now? Out of curiosity. So I have T-Mobile, and uh, they actually have that uh, 5G UC. I don't know what that means. I think it's ultra capacity, but they have that in my house now. So, or not in my house, uh, here in Pensacola, so it's kind of cool um, that they have that. Although it's basically just regular old 5G. They just added UC to the name, so it looks like you know, you're getting better service. So that's kind of cool. So um, one thing I thought was kind of funny, you know, I didn't actually do this comparison, but I should have. AT&T, is it actual 5G? Like, uh, what is your speed? I'm curious, what is your speed test on that? So as you can see here, um, this is actually the dummy model versus the real thing. And I think that whoever made the dummy model did a pretty good job. The camera module is actually pretty on point. Um, I would say the thickness isn't really on point. Uh, as you can see, the real thing is much thicker. Like if you look at this camera module, so this is the dummy, this is the real you can see that that is uh, much larger on the real thing. So, But they did a good job as far as the size is concerned. Um, and they got the button placement correct. They actually got the earpiece placement correct. Uh, the camera looks okay. I apologize if this is not focused very well, but um, they did a pretty good job, I think, on this. So you can see the SIM tray, all that stuff. Obviously, it's the same from last year. Nothing different there, but they did a good job with the dummy model. Now, if you're wondering how it looks compared to the 12 Pro, Check out how large that is compared to the 12 Pro. And then you can kind of see the difference between the blue. Um, it's the Pacific blue. I have the leather thing on here, so you can, you can kind of tell the, the difference is pretty interesting. So that's a much darker blue from last year. But I actually like this. Uh, this Sierra blue looks pretty nice, I think. So, um, and then the thickness on this, if you want to see the difference. So the camera module is insanely big on this one this year. So if you can see the difference there, that is a much bigger difference there. So really huge camera module on this thing. So um, I figure we'll go ahead and look at the phone a little bit and then we'll just uh, try some cases on. Um, now you may have seen a couple case videos already uh, from me, but um, I actually have the real thing now. So I can actually put these in these cases and try these out. I don't have them on hand, so I'm gonna have to go grab them from my closet. But also here's the difference between the notch, if you're curious. Uh, I don't think it's gonna focus very well on here, uh, but you can see, eh. But you can kind of see the difference in the notch here. I like that they put the earpiece up top instead of in the center right there. I think that looks a lot better. But I do think that they have a lot of wasted space up here. Um, so I haven't set this phone up. I just kind of did it as new just to see how it would look. But that's a lot of wasted space. So I know I'm beating a dead horse saying this stuff you guys have already heard. Um, but yeah, it, it looks like a lot of wasted space. So hopefully they change that and, you know, update it a little bit. Um, but so far, you know, and it's not as heavy as people keep saying. I think it'll be heavy once I actually have a case on it and I'm using it for a little bit. But with reviewers complaining about it being heavy, it kind of made me mad because I'm like, it has a bigger battery. That's what we wanted. People kept complaining about the 12 series not having big, big enough batteries. Give it bigger batteries, it becomes heavier, but it has bigger batteries. So that's a good thing. Let's get the bigger batteries going. All right, so this is um, iOS 15 out of the box, how it looks. I don't have my stuff on here yet. You can see we have the two widgets and stuff like that. And it, I don't know if you can see this on camera, but that 120 hertz, good God, that's, that's beautiful. And that should have been on here last year. So I'm not gonna give Apple any credit for taking a whole year to put this on here when other phones have had it for a long time. I mean, you, ha you can get an Android phone well under $1,000 with you know a 90 hertz display. So we're not gonna give Apple any credit here. I I'm glad it's here, don't get me wrong, but they should have put it on here. And on top of that, someone said in a video uh, recently that I, that I watched that they were talking about how the iPhone 13 doesn't have it. 
And yeah, the iPhone 13 should have got it too. That's a seven, $800 phone. That should have had it too. So anyway, let me go grab some cases and we'll go ahead and try them on. Um, so what kind of cases are you guys looking for for your phones? I'm very curious to see what you guys, I don't know if this is translating okay to HD because this looks kind of bad on my end. Uh, auto, wow, okay, I hope it's actually like, okay, the video should be clear. Okay, I'll be right back. Let me go get, grab some cases. So, uh, where I bought it from T-Mobile. So, uh, surprisingly, what happened here was uh, T-Mobile actually had it available for me to get on launch day, and Apple did not. And I literally ordered from Apple at noon the day it was released, or the day that the pre-order started. So, here's the cases I have. I have a bunch of them. So, uh, I will show you the Nomad one first. That's probably the one I'm going to use on this phone. Uh, so, this is your modern leather case. They also have a folio case. Now, I haven't actually released a video for this one yet. Yeah, it looks like that's the highest it's gonna go for this, unfortunately. I don't know why, but I'm using an iPhone 8 to film this so that I can actually do the comparison between the 12 Pro and the uh, 13 Pro Max, so that's probably the reason it's not very good. Hopefully the video looks okay. Uh, I should have used another phone. <laughs> I'll say that. I should have just used another phone. I probably could have used uh, one of my Android phones I have in there. Um, so this was interesting. Now, I don't know if you guys saw my tweet about this. They have this thing called digital business card in here. Um, it's cool in theory, but the way that you have to set it up is kind of a convoluted. You actually have to download an app. Um, it looks like, it honestly looks like you would have to pay for it, but you don't actually have to pay for it. It is a free thing. You just have to activate it. Um, you just don't get to use all the features that they offer. So, um, but we can take a look at some of these cases. I do have some spec cases as well. Uh, so I did release the spec video today. So if you guys are interested in that, um, that's released. Now, again, I only use the dummy model in here. So I'm hoping that it's accurate on point. Uh, one thing people seem to like was the Pataka cases. So we'll take a look at that one as well. So let me go ahead and uh, do some of these cases real quick and show you how these look. So let's do the Nomad ones first. So we got the uh, modern leather folio. And I love, I love all these. Uh, so most of them are compatible with MagSafe, yes. Um, so as you can see, the Nomad one is. Um, this one's really, really nice. So if you're looking for something that has a wallet built into it, this one is really nice. So um, you can fit three cards and you have uh, a little slot for like cash or whatever. Uh, it's actually pretty nice. So um, we'll go ahead and put our phone in here and take a look. And there it is. So you got a little nice folio case, and that fits pretty well. Now, um, what I what I said before though is you have these large camera bumps on these cases now to protect your cases. So, uh, or to protect your, protect your not to protect your cases, protect your phone. So um, much bigger camera module on this one this year, but they do have much larger rims around the camera, so it is going to be protected, which is nice. And of course, a lot of them have you know a, a raised lip around the screen as well. So this is a really nice case. I really like this one. So if you like folio style cases, this is one to look at. Really love Nomad also. And then the digital business card is at the bottom. The little NFC tag for it is at the bottom. So uh, you know, let me see if my phone will actually. Uh, this one I don't think I activated on this one. I don't think I did activate on this one. I think I activated on the uh, on the modern folio. Let's let's try that one. So this is the that is the modern leather folio. All right. So we got that one. And let me show you this next one here. And this is the way to activate it. So as you can see, you have a QR code, or you can go to nomadgoods.com slash digital card. And like I said, it's a little bit of a process to set up, but it is cool um, to see. So this one is the one I think I did activate on. Spigen Ultra Hybrid. Um, I've never worked with Spigen. Uh, I've worked with one of their parent companies. They sent me some cases. Um, I'm reaching out to case companies right now to get more cases to review. So, um, if you guys know how I can reach them, let me know, because I'll definitely do that. So this one is basically just like the modern leather folio, just without the folio part. Uh, but as you can see, what I really like, you can see it has a nice felt lining on the inside. You have MagSafe in here, Apple leather case. Ooh, you want me to buy the expensive one, huh? Spend that money. Isn't that like $100? <laughs> but hey, I guess I'm a reviewer. I guess I should do that, shouldn't I? Um, 
So this one does have the digital card inside. So as you can see, it's very similar to the, uh, the modern leather folio. It does have the same lip on there. This one does have the key built into it. So let me see if it actually works. It was really finicky when I tried it um, with the iPhone for some reason. The Android phone worked just fine with it, but for some reason on NFC, it just doesn't, it doesn't like it. So we'll see if it actually, the looked like it was gonna work instantly and it just doesn't, as you can see. So it's supposed to be at the bottom of the phone, or at the bottom of the case, and nothing. So, and the Android phone worked fine. I don't know why, I don't know why this just doesn't work. I think it's just the way that Apple does NFC is just strange to me. But uh, yeah, so this is the uh, modern leather case. So you got a little ridge, ridge power button, if you can see that. And it looks really, really nice. And of course, you know, like these leather cases are gonna age really well as well. So that's that one. Let me try and get more of these cases out of the way so you guys can see all of these. I don't wanna, you know, spend a whole bunch of time on each of these cases. I'll just show each of them. Um, but again, I'm making videos on these. So stay tuned for those. This one, I'll do the Nomad video. I'll probably have that one out uh, maybe today or tomorrow. Uh, let's see. <sighs> Another one people really liked was the Pataka cases. So uh, these are two. Pataka has like, I think three or four different cases um, out for the new iPhones. So this one is the Mag Easy case two. Um, and then we have the Air case. So um, these two are pretty interesting. They're actually the same price. So the Mag Easy case two is gonna be probably the better bet because this one comes in five different colors. Um, and this one has MagSafe included. Uh, now this one is really thin. So if you like like minimalist kind of cases, this is the one to get. Um, it does have a different pattern than the air case does. So this has a kind of wider pattern with the carbon fiber. And you see MagSafe compatible has a, so it's only 0.5 inches thick. So it's really, really thin as is. The air case uh, is even thinner. This one is 0.22 inches thin. So this one's super thin. It has a tighter knit uh, carbon fiber pattern on the back, um, but doesn't have MagSafe. So it's really impressive that this one has MagSafe even at its, at its you know, thinnest, you know, it's like the super thin case. So this one, as you can see, this is the one that does have MagSafe. So this is really nice. I don't know if you can see this on camera, um, but this one looks really, really nice. And this is, see how thin it is? It's obscenely thin. It does have MagSafe built right in. So this one is really nice. So this is like a minimalist case if you're looking for like minimalist kind of cases. So this one just clips right in like that. And there you go. So it actually does offer a little lip around the sides. So it doesn't cover the top or bottom. And both the Air and the Mag Easy 2 are the same in that regard. They don't cover the buttons or anything like that. Um, it does have the raised camera lip, so it protects your camera at least. And I just think this one looks, these just look so slick. So if you get the graphite um, iPhone, it'll look really, really good with this. Um, but I, yeah, I'm not particularly uh, a minimalist kind of person like this. I need to have protection because I don't trust myself. So, um, but yeah, this one's still really, really nice. Let me see if I can get this thing off. Yeah, they're really hard to get off to, unfortunately. Okay, Let's see if I can actually get it off here. No, there we go. All right, so we got that one. And then I don't wanna put the other one on, but it looks basically the same. It just has, again, no MagSafe. It's thinner than the than this one. Actually, you know what, I'll leave that out so we can actually compare them. I'll show you both of these real quick. All right, so these two. So uh, as you can see, the Max is huge, but it's just as big as the, the 12 Pro Max was. Um, the 13 Pro, you know, I was considering the 13 Pro and I may just use the 13 Pro Max for a couple days and see if I like it because I'm used to the smaller size. Um, so I don't know, we'll, we'll see if I like it, you know? Um, if I have to wait for the 13 Pro, I'll wait for it, it's fine. It's not that huge of a deal uh, because it's not that crazy of an upgrade. Uh, but here is the Air versus the uh, Mag Easy uh, 2. So you can see the tighter knit pattern on this one. It's smoother, it's got, this one has a little bit more of a texture on it. Not that you're gonna be touching your case all the time, but you know. And then again, this one is super duper light. So you can feel this has the MagSafe in it. You know this has MagSafe in it. You can feel it in there. This one doesn't. But again, like it's so thin, you may not even need to have the MagSafe compatibility built into the case because it'll probably go through this, if I'm honest. I mean, they're both really nice either way. So, um, so oh, the 12 Pro is near the max as far as battery life is concerned. So my concern with it 
is how is it going to age? Because the 12 Pro, the, the battery aged horribly. So let me just show you my battery percentage on this phone. It is not good. Um, I was not pleased. So if we go to battery here. This is my 12 Pro. I bought this, you know, release day. 92% after a year. I don't know if that's good or bad, but that seems kind of bad. <laughs> um, I've had iPhones before that didn't have that bad. And it's not like I am, I am wirelessly charging it. I'm not fast charging it. And then, you know, that's another thing that sucks is like the, these iPhones have 20 watt max charging. So that also kind of sucks. So I'm kind of curious. I am really curious actually about how uh, Android phones batteries age because they have much, much faster charging than the iPhone does. So I'm kind of curious about that. All right, let me go grab some more cases here. Two. All right, so here's two other ones for the uh, 13 Pro Max. So some of the companies sent me other stuff exclusively. Did you use MagSafe? No, I did not. So um, at home I have MagSafe. I don't have MagSafe here. So what I've been using is a the Nomad one, uh, the Nomad charger. Hang on, let me grab it. Let me. So I'm using this. This is what I've been using to charge. So this is the... Um, what is it called? Can't remember the name of it. Anyway, uh, it you know it says it can do 10 watt wireless charger charging or 15 watt wireless charging. Here's the thing: when you use anything but MagSafe, this is only 7.5 watts, so it's actually pretty slow charging. So I don't think that should affect the battery as much. Now I'm not gonna say I didn't plug it in to wired because I do I do have one that's wired that's 18 watts. Um, but I mean, it's crazy how fast the battery degraded over a year. I, I, th I think that's kind of crazy. I mean, because what you get in the 80s, you start to get in the 80s with the battery percentage and the battery life is garbage. Um, but the battery life wasn't great to begin with anyway, because you guys know we were all disappointed by the battery life when they first came out. So it's not the greatest either. So this is a welcome change. Okay. So these two, let's take a look at these two real quick. So we got the Presidio Perfect Clear with grips. Um, so this is just a clear case, does have MagSafe. Um, this one, I can't remember, I think it's like 49 maybe. I don't remember off the top of my head, but this one looks really nice. So these are like drop resistant, drop proof kind of cases. So it does have the grips on the sides and it also goes around. So um, if you guys like spec cases, I think they're pretty nice. This one's a pretty nice case. Um, Look at how like this thing's rigid. And then the sides have like no flex at all. So like they're super, super strong. So I like that. So if we take this, take our new phone, pop it in here. And no, I'm not gonna clean it or anything like that. It's probably gonna look like crap in the clear case. Clear cases bother me because you can just see so much crap in them, but they look nice when they're actually clean. But if we just take a look at it real quick, here it is in the spec case. So I think it looks pretty good in here. Uh, yeah, I like this now. This is actually nice. So if you want to see your Sierra Blue or whatever color iPhone you got, this is probably a good one to use. So you can see this one has a lip again. Uh, they all have that. That's pretty much a trend going on right now. Um, but I do like the grips on this too because this actually feels like, you know, you feel kind of secure holding your phone. Uh, so it's pretty nice. So here, I'll take a picture of this real quick. So because I didn't get to actually take a picture of this with the actual phone, I've been using a dummy model. And this actually looks pretty nice. I'm pretty pleased with this. So I might use this one. All right, oh, hey, let me get this chat, I'm sorry. Uh, what's up, Tech for Needs, how you doing? And I hope I'm not missing anybody in the chat. If I'm missing anybody in the chat, just respond again. I see it on the phone, and I'm looking at my computer too. So I'm trying to like, you know, do double duty to see your, uh, to see your chats. So I apologize if I miss you, just uh, message again and I'll, uh, and I'll respond. So, the next one we got is the Presidio 2 Pro. Uh, this one comes in a couple different colors. They sent me pink. They sent me pink. I mean, I'm not that mad. It's fine. Uh, but this one is is a, still a tough case. It's a TPU style. It's like a soft touch on it. So it looks pretty, uh, you know, pretty nice. It has a different pink on here. So it's kind of got a two-tone deal going on it. So we got black ring, white spec logo, and then a darker pink on the inside and for the button. So this one is nice though. Um, but if you like pink, you know, this might be one to go with if you're looking for pink. And this one actually fits pretty well, so, but it covers up your beautiful, you know, blue. Actually, this kind of looks nice with the blue, not gonna lie. So that actually kind of looks, uh, I think it looks pretty good. So that's this case. And this one is nice, I love, I love when cases actually have clicky buttons, because you know it's actually gonna work really well. And if I press this five times, it's gonna go crazy, so let me not do that. But see, they all have perfect cutouts, so I really like that they actually kind of kept the design because then we have, you know, for the most part, the cases that they make now are gonna fit really, really well with these phones. So, 
uh, sorry, I'm trying to move really quickly to give, give you guys a view of all these cases. And thank you, Nature Dude, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I'm trying to do as many videos as I can. Um, One Plus Nord N100. I think that, I think Drew may have reviewed that on my channel. I can't recall which one he had, but um, those are pretty good phones, yes. Um, what else do I got here? All right, so. I'm trying to find, so here's another one that's pretty good. So uh, Subcase has a bunch of new cases. If you're looking for a tough case, their tough cases are really nice. So these are like very inexpensive, um, but they are really nice. So this one is the Cerulean Blue and uh, they knew what's up. Subcase knew what was up. So they got the, they got Cerulean Blue. They have this one called Ruddy. It's a really nice red. Um, and then they have black. Uh, personally, I like the red and the blue, of course, because they're really nice. But this one has a holster on it. So if you need something with a screen protector, this is a built-in screen protector. It has a kickstand on it. And ow. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna be able to get this kickstand with my fingernail because I just cut my nails. <laughs> ah. Anyway, there's a kickstand on it. I can't pick it up because my nails are cut. So, um, but it looks like metal. It's, I think it's plastic, um, but it looks really nice as you can see. And then it probably is gonna go pretty well with the, yeah. Actually, it does go pretty well with that. So if you want something, wow, they did a good job matching that color, not gonna lie. That is pretty insane. Let me go ahead and put it in real quick to show you. So this one, you gotta go around the edges and get the screen protector part off first. And you put your phone in the screen protector portion first. So it just looks like that. And then you put it inside the case like so. So again, I've done most I've done most of these in videos already, um, but some of them I have not. So, so I'm going to show you some that I haven't done videos with yet. The Nomad ones are not out yet because I have that video to edit, um, but this one I have done a video. So if you're looking at this one, a bunch of subcase cases I did a video on recently. Um, I also have one I did on the iPhone 13. Um, I did not buy a 13, but I do have a 13 dummy. So um, I don't have one of these to show you, unfortunately, but you can see the difference here with this. Um, what was funny is the... 13 camera module versus the 13 pro camera module is insanely big. I think I showed you guys um, the difference here. So here is one for the, this is for the 13 pro. So you can see how big this camera module is. So the camera module is exactly the same size as the 13 pro max, as you can see there. Uh, but if you put a regular 13 in there, it's gonna fit. It's just gonna like not look right. So you see it fits, but then like, yikes. So you can see there's definitely a huge difference in the camera module. So. Um, you know, for 200, was it 200 buck difference for the 13 versus the 13 Pro? You're getting 120 hertz display, a much larger camera, three cameras versus two. So I don't know, it might be worth, it might be worth it. Uh, this year, it seems like a lot of people are going for the 13 Pro versus the 13 Pro Max. Perfect case for the OnePlus Nord 11 is the Poetic Revolution Series Tough Case. I've used a couple uh, Poetic cases in the past. I should probably reach out to them. I have used a couple of their cases in the past. Um, I just kind of, I, I, there's so many case makers out there. I can't cover all of them. Uh, I wish I could, um, but there's so many good options out there. Uh, definitely Poetic is one of those ones. I know they, they sell on Amazon. At least I think they still sell on Amazon. If I, if they don't, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, they're a good brand as well. Uh, so this is, yeah, I really like this case. So if you're looking for a tough case, this is like 20 bucks, like insanely inexpensive. My favorite case so far. Um, you know what? My favorite, so I haven't actually used it on the phone yet, but I really like this one, the Presidio Perfect Clear with grips. I think that one looks really nice because this shows off the phone itself. I really like that. And then of course my favorite is gonna be, my other favorite is gonna be this one um, because I absolutely love these leather cases. So Nomad, I know these are a little pricey. So this one's like $59, but um, they're just a little pricey, but these leather cases are gorgeous. They smell good. And then, you know, this digital business card is pretty cool addition to that. So I really like these. So I have a bunch of Nomad stuff. So I really like to actually kind of match things, you know. Um, and in addition to that, uh, I'm kind of crazy. Like I like to have my wallpaper the same on like my iPhone and my iPad. Um, I kind of like to have the same kind of watch band, you know, uh, you know, going along with things. I don't really tr change it up. I like to have, you know, similar things. Um, I don't go too crazy though, but, uh, I don't mind changing out cases and trying out different things, but this one, this one's probably the one, the one I'm going to use. And, uh, I, you know, I don't really use folio cases. Um, and unfortunately I don't think I can, I don't, I don't really want to use this because I use a, uh, a little, what the hell? Where is it? I don't have it. Here it is. Like, hang on. So I use one of these. 
Um, I got this little coach thing uh, for like 20 bucks uh, a couple months ago, and I just put like three cards in it. I have cash, I have my IDs on the other side. I'm not gonna show you all my IDs, but I have my IDs on one side. And this thing's been working pretty well for me. So I probably could get away with this, but because I actually uh, can't bring my phone to class and everything, I bring this with me. So it's kind of pointless for me to use a wallet case or a wallet and add it to my case. It's better for me to just use something like this. So that's my that's the reason I do that. It's just the, the use case for me is, is not necessary. But yeah, this one's really nice. Let me take a picture of this one too. I think the cerulean blue, they did a really, really good job with this one. Absolutely beautiful. Loving that. So that one looks really, really nice. Um, and then... Let me see if I have, so I have some more subcase cases I can show you guys, um, or I can show you some new ones that I don't have out yet, that I have not done anything on. Um, and thank you, I appreciate, I appreciate that comment very, very much, I really do. Oh man, this thing is so hard to get off. Eh, there we go. Oh, these things are a pain to get out, see? So like, I'm just trying to get it out without destroying my new phone. Anyway, there it is. So yeah, that is the um, Unicorn Beetle Pro case, and uh, I really like these. They've been making these for a while, so um, you know these are really well-made cases. They do have some new ones that they've done, so if you're interested in those, um, I can show those off. But yeah, this is definitely one I like a lot. And again, it comes with a holster and stuff here, you know. Yeah, OtterBox cases are good too. There was one I recently saw that someone ordered on Mac Rumor Forums um, for the new iPhone. And you know what, I'm actually, you know what, let me grab my let me grab the phone here. I'll show you which one I'm talking about um, because I actually really liked it. Um, it is Otterbox iPhone 13 Pro. Oops. Pro Max. Yeah, it's so strange actually having a larger phone here. All right, so uh, we got... Yeah, Urban Armor Gear is another one I really like too. Um, and uh, I've been trying to reach out to them to see if I can get some cases, but oh no, I don't want that one. Uh, so they have this like pop socket kind of thing now. Um, those are kind of cool. I've seen a couple people with those. Uh, but the one I really liked, I don't know if they have it on their site. It was through Apple. So let me, let me see. Let me go through Apple's site here and see if I can go to their store. And iPhone. And I think it was the Pro Mac. Explore iPhone accessories, there we go. I can't tell you how nice this 120 hertz is. It's actually such a welcome change. So they got all their all their accessories here. Uh, power and cables, wireless chargers, cases and protection. Let's see, they're gonna show all their first party cases, of course. Um, did anyone buy any of these, any of these cases? Out of curiosity, I'm wondering how good these are. I hear, I hear things, and I'm not sure I really, I really want to have one of their cases, but, um, uh, you know, let's see. I gotta sign into it. Oh, okay. Well, I don't want to do that. So, all right. iPhone accessories. Search Apple.com. Otterbox. I just want to f see if I can find that that case I was looking at earlier because I really liked it. Uh. They're gonna show all their cases, aren't they? That's what they're gonna do. They're gonna show all their cases instead of the ones I wanna see. Come on. All right, so you know what? If I find it later, I'll, I'll actually show it, but I'm a little disappointed. They don't have that OtterBox case I was thinking of, but it looked really, really nice. It was like 50 bucks, um, which I mean, that's the going rate for a lot of these cases now. It's like 50, 50, 60 bucks. So, see what else we got now this is something I'm gonna be doing too later is putting on a screen protector uh, because I don't trust myself although this one has the traditional notch so I don't know if they knew about the notch size so let me actually take a look at them out of curiosity and see if it actually shows do they have the wait is it in there okay yeah they did okay so they got the uh, they have a guide on here and then they have the actual little earpiece right there. So I think they did the they did the uh, notch correctly. So that's cool. So we got one screen protector. I do have other screen protectors coming. So if this one doesn't work, I have a couple other ones that I can that I can try. Uh, that is an interesting way they're doing it here. Let me go ahead and put this back. Ooh. They only give you one. Oh, that's why I like these. Uh, there's a there's a company that does a couple. Oh wow. Okay. This does not want to go back into the box for some odd reason. There we go. So yeah, I will try this one. This one says microband, goof-proof installation. 
goof proof installation. That's nice. All right. So, um, what else do we have here? Oh, so this was something that people were interested in. Um, so Nomad has a pen. Uh, it's, it's, it's really just a pen, but it's actually pretty nice. So I don't know what the price on this thing is, but um, just to show you, I actually am gonna show this in the video too. Um, oh no, it, it never showed up? How, how did Drew get phones? How did Drew, you know what? Take one of Drew's phones and you can, he can have whatever you're getting. Whatever you're, whatever's coming for you, he can have it. That's not fair. All right, so as you can see, we had Nomad on there. This is just like a hefty, hefty pen but it has just a really nice click. Would you rather use your phone caseless or without a screen protector? Ooh, oh, oh, that's a question. That's a question. Um, that is a, that is a, that is a question. Um, I'm gonna say I would have to have a case on it. So if I had to, I would go, go without a screen protector and I would have to trust that their, that their ceramic shield, whatever they call it, is good enough to handle, you know, everything is going on. Now these I didn't actually show on video yet. So these are Clayco. So this is, uh, Subcase actually has uh, this brand called Clayco. I don't know if it's popular or not. I did a couple of videos on these last year and they didn't do very well, but they, so this is 6.7, like a black, Azure, Forza. Okay, so Forza is a different case model. And then this one is called the Xenon. So let's just take a look at these, why not? So this one's Azure. They just have different names for the blue. Okay, that's actually, mm, okay, let's see. All right, so this is kind of similar to, um, yeah, has, has a screen protector and a, okay, that, that sentence didn't complete, but, so this is kind of similar to what they already have, so you can see it's kind of similar to the other, uh, the protective pro case that they have, so we'll try it. This one's actually like, as you can see, message retracted. All right, so as you can see, this one's a lot, uh, not, it's got a lot of flex to it. So I don't know how protective this is, but it looks all right. It's got a kind of interesting design on it. So your Clayco branding uh, does have the lip on there. This one has the screen protector included. So you can see what I have to deal with whenever I do these case videos, taking all these little films and all this shit off. But we'll go ahead and try it anyway. So this one is similar. It has, so you put it in the front, just like this. Oh, and a rugged case. Yeah, that's a good way to do it. That's a good way to go. All right, I do like this two-tone thing they chose here. It's kind of nice. Uh, yeah, all right. Let's see, does it fit well? So we're gonna get, I love seeing the people say, oh God. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, they did okay. Actually, so you can see they actually did okay with the camera cutout. So you can see camera and the sensors are cut out perfectly. So that's not bad at all. And then, um, it doesn't add much bulk to this, so it looks pretty okay. I think this looks kind of, mm, eh. it's a little busy. I, I don't really like all this excess, you got all this stuff on the sides and it's a little busy. The front looks nice. The front looks kind of nice, I like this. It reminds me of like a, it kind of reminds me of the OtterBox, but um, I think OtterBox does it a little more subtly. This is just too busy for me, but let's look at the black one. Let's see how different that one looks. Maybe it looks better in black. I wonder if it has a two-tone thing going with it. All right, this one, no. So there's no two-tone with this one. So it's just black. Eh, it's still, uh, I don't know, what do you guys think? The black or the Azure, what do you think? The black is a little more subtle, but it just, it, the, the design on the back is just too busy for me, I think. I don't really care for it as much. The front is fine. The front is fine. I don't really care for the design on the back, but eh, I don't know. What do you guys think? Black or the Azure? What is, what is your favorite one out of those two? All right, let's, uh, Let's put these back and then let's take a look at the other one. I'm telling you, I have so many cases, so many cases. All right, and then we got this one is another, I know, 420, right? Oh, it's gone. <laughs> All right, let's look at the Azor. So that's the that's the blue color that they, that they have here. Okay, this one is another one of these. All right, so this is actually similar to what Subcase already has. I don't know why they have their brand doing this, so. This is basically, uh, so this is basically the same kind of thing. It has a front screen protector, so it's really the same. The same front screen protector, literally in a, just a clear body instead. Um, so I think that's probably gonna be better. I don't know how protective this is gonna be. I mean, these screen protectors are fine, but it kind of reminds me of like a life proof. A life proof without the life proofing, if you get my drift, because I feel like this is not gonna do well underwater, but um, yeah, the clear one's kinda nice. So I don't know the pricing on these. I have to make a video on this one still, um, but if you guys like these, I'll make a video on them, but otherwise, I don't know, because they didn't do very well 
view wise. So um, I don't know, we'll see. Let me grab some more. I do have some more cases that you guys have not seen yet um, from Smartish and ESR. So I'll go grab those. Actually, let me take this off here. And I apologize, it's taking me forever to get these cases off, but all right. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this one. Uh, what do I think of OnePlus phones? So here's the deal. I have never actually gotten to try OnePlus phone. I would like to try OnePlus phone. I will eventually try OnePlus phone. It is, um, it is on my things to do. Here's the deal though. While I'm here in training, I'm trying not to buy phones. I know, I'm dumb, I just bought a phone. But this one is a main phone, that's my daily. But I'm trying not to buy phones I'm going to review because I don't have time to do it. So I'm going to, um, eventually, when I get home, I will be buying phones. So if there's a particular OnePlus phone you think I should try out, maybe the one you have, was it N100 is the one you have? If you think that's one I should try, I may do that. I may do that. All right, so these are the Clayco phones, or the Clayco cases. So these are pretty good. These are pretty good. Um, they're gonna be probably around the same price range as the Subcase, but I don't really see this brand very often. I know Subcase is out there, so I don't know about this brand though. Let me grab some more cases up here back. There's so many of them. Like, I literally have a box of them. Okay, so these are these are all these. So we've gone over a couple of those. Now we're gonna go over a couple of ones from ESR. All right, so here's what ESR sent me here. Uh, one plus more N100, you'll love the, how much is that phone? I'm just gotta, just out of curiosity. So this is what ESR sent me. They sent me a couple cases. Uh, they also sent me um, a screen protector and I don't know why it came in this obscenely large, oh, it was a case and screen protector set, so that's kinda cool. Uh, so it's probably one of their, I don't know which case it is, it doesn't tell me what it is. Tough drop protection is what they said here. Uh, they also sent me, they sent me this, the Halo Lock Magnetic. Now the funny thing is I did a review on this already um, and people ragged on me because I didn't know about, there's a piece right here that's supposed to keep it on the vent. So I, I keep getting comments telling me I was wrong. So I was wrong. I apologize that I was wrong. I will say it, I was wrong. If I'm wrong, I will admit that I was wrong. Now this also, um, I've reviewed this before. This is their Halo Lock, so it's basically MagSafe. Um, but this sits on your desk and has a little kickstand on it. And I think it comes in different colors. Uh, looks like it does. I think this is the black one, probably. Um, no, this is the white Ooh, okay, I'm actually gonna open that because I wanna see that. Haven't seen the white one yet. And then they sent me a bunch of cases. So I have some more cases to show you guys. Let me open this real quick because I'm curious to see how this looks. Now, again, the problem with these, they don't do the full 15 watt charging. I wish they did but they don't, they only do 7.5 watts, which is kind of annoying, but it's okay. All right, let's open this up. It says it's white. If it's white, I'm excited. I really wanna see this. Ooh, that looks nice. All right, so we know the MagSafe is white. All right, let's see. All right, so these don't come with a cable, unfortunately, but, so it tells you uh, the choosing, you need to choose the right adapter and choosing the right case. Give the user manual and, ooh, fancy. So it's white gloss, and then it's got that silver aluminum. Ooh, that looks nice, actually. I am pleased. And then it opens up like that. That's nice. All right. That is nice. And it comes with a white cable to match. So USB-C to USB-C. But you gotta buy your own, you gotta buy your own, uh, your own adapter, unfortunately. I am like low on adapters right now, too. So I'm not doing very well with the adapter front. All right, let me look, let me get these cases. I know you guys wanna see these cases, not this, uh, not the charger. But if you want to look, if you're looking for something that's like MagSafe compatible, that's uh, this is this is definitely less than a uh, MagSafe charger. But they do have the MagSafe charger on sale for like twenty six dollars, twenty six twenty seven dollars online uh, right now. Actually, let's uh, let's go let's go look. Thank you, I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Later, let's go to Amazon, and I'm gonna look this up real quick just because I'm uh, just out of curiosity. Uh, what is it? MagSafe charger, MagSafe charger. So, yeah, so, oh no, that's a fake one. Yeah, so the real MagSafe charger right here is $27.14. 
So they have it on Amazon here. Now, the, now if you guys want to go grab one of these, because that's a pretty good price. They, all, they also had the uh, MagSafe Duo on sale for 96. Now it's back to 129. I don't think that's worth the money. And it's ugly. And I don't know if you guys saw MKBHD's video where they showed the, the 13 Pro and it barely fits on the, the pad now. It's kind of ridiculous, but um, but if you want the MagSafe charger, you can order it on Amazon, or you go to Best Buy or Walmart and just have them price match it. So do that. If you want a MagSafe charger, go get it. That is cheap. All right, so let's look at these cases. All right, first one we got is the metal kickstand case compatible with the 6.7 inch iPhone 13 Pro Max. So this one is black in color. So we'll take a look at that. So we've got a little seal here. All right, so this one, okay, so it has a, wow, what is that? Oh, so it just has a separate kickstand. Tech made easier, that's interesting. Military grade drop protection, air corners. I will open like one or two of these. I probably won't open all of them, because this is good. I mean, we've already been out here for 40 minutes. Uh, okay, uh, okay, that looks kind of nice. So this one has, uh, this one has their kind of interesting, have you gone over mouse cases yet? No, I haven't. Um, I don't have any mouse cases. I have reached out to them. I would like to have them send me some cases if they will. I don't know if they will. Um, so I'm gonna say if I can get a contact, I did send a email request to them to see if I could. So I don't know. Um, if not, I'll buy it. I, I will spend the money if I have to. So this has a built-in kickstand. Patented design, of course, I gotta say that. It's actually metal, thank you so much. So this is metal, so that's actually pretty nice. Um, this is not like a tough case, you can see it's got flex in there, um, but this is actually kinda nice. Now, I don't really understand what this, the purpose of this is, I guess this is just, what is this? Oh, okay, so you can, I guess, use this for a tablet or whatever. Does it even fit? Yeah, so that's, I guess that's the purpose of that. So that's, in, that's, an, in, that's an inclusion. <laughs> That's a thing. And then we have our case, so we can pop this in the here. Let's pop this in. Take a look at this kickstand case real quick. Yeah, that's pretty nice, actually. All right, yeah, that looks pretty good. So you got a kickstand on there. So the phone is heavy. Let's see, will it actually hold it up? Yeah, nice. And then this goes like that. Actually, that's, that's actually not bad. So kickstand cases are interesting. Um, the way they implemented this is pretty good. I think the MagSafe will still work. You know what? Let's test it out. Let, let's test this out real quick. So, will this work? Yep. Yep, MagSafe works. So that was one thing I noticed with these kickstand cases. I noticed that last year they were making cases without considering the MagSafe, and there weren't a lot of MagSafe accessories right out of the, right the gate. So um, they did a good job here. So you can see it just adds a little bump at the bottom, and then they still added the MagSafe in there, and it's still or their halo lock, that's what they call it. So good, good job, BSR, good job with that. I, I think that's awesome. So that is one. I actually like this case, they did a good job with that. So good job, BSR. And I didn't, and, and the crazy thing is, I don't know what cases these uh, companies are sending me. I just have to go through and, you know, just kind of like look at them and figure it out for myself. So <laughs> it, is a, it is a thing. All right, where is my box? Oh, here's my box here. All right, so that is one. And we'll take a look at like one more and then I'll go ahead and uh, go ahead and end this stream. So, oh crap, I forgot this little thing. ESR gear, military grade protection. All right, so what is the next one? So we've got the clear case. We've got a cloud soft case. We've got air armor. And then we've got the hybrid case with tough drop protection grippy frame classic series clear uh let's take a look at the air armor scratch resistant back shock absorbing corners so we'll do that now you guys i have more coming i have more cases coming i can't believe i've been on here for 40 minutes talking about cases and i appreciate you guys actually stay sticking around and watching this um i have more coming it's crazy i'm telling you like iphone season is insane there are cases all over the place so um let's go ahead and take a look at some of these cases or this one here, and this will be the last one to take a look at. But again, I will have more videos out later on down the road. So this one is the Air Armor, I think it was. Yeah, Air Armor, okay. So Air Armor, all right. So this one again, oh look, they, they did, so they're including that with everything, I guess. All right, so we got the Military Drop Protection. 
I'm not I'm not about to drop my phone to test it, so. All right, how do I get this thing out of here? All right, so we got this little thing. Now, I guess this is the thing, so military drop protection. This one is clear, it looks like. Can I get it out of this thing? Give me the sleeve. Okay, so this one's completely, I actually like the way they implemented the MagSafe, so it doesn't have that little uh, extra part. I don't know what that the purpose of that is. This is really nice, so Halo Lock Magnetic Case. So again, their, that, their thing is called Halo Lock. It's literally MagSafe, so there's no difference. Let's try this case out. This one is a little bit more of a tough case, so you can kind of see the corners. It's got big old pillow corners on it. And then on the back, ooh, that looks kind of nice. That's actually kind of nice. That is clean. That is a clean, clean case. I like that. I'm very, very pleased with that. That is really clean. So yeah, so that is the Air Armor case. And then you can see on the side, oh yeah. That is a good looking case. That's a good looking case, man. That's nice, I like it. Let's try the, let's try the little, uh, the little kickstand. Does it work? Bam, works just fine, awesome. Ooh, that's a nice grip. That's got a nice, ooh, wow, that's a good grip on that one. The other one didn't have as good of a grip, but that is really nice. All right, guys, so uh, hopefully you enjoyed hanging out with me, uh, looking at these cases. I have more, I have a whole box of other ones. Um, definitely, if you're looking for cases, look back at this video. I have cases from Nomad, Subcase, uh, Spec, ESR, a bunch of other companies. So go back and look at some of these. I'll have more case videos coming out uh, later. I have stuff coming from Case Defy. I have some coming from Rinky. I have some uh, coming from Caseborn. Uh, so I have a bunch of more, bunch more cases coming. So I have a lot of stuff to make videos on. So just stay tuned. Uh, if you're looking for cases for your phone, I'll have some more videos out here soon. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining me for this live video and uh, I'll see you guys next time.